Part 5, Case Registration. This section will show you how to report an issue to IFS. From the Service Center landing page, you can report an issue if a service is down, you have a security concern, a significant capability is not working, a service is degraded, or something else is wrong. A service is down. What to do when a service is down. From the landing page of the community, select Report an Issue. This will load our basic form. You'll need to select the nature of your issue. The drop down is here, select A Service is Down. The form now changes based on what you've selected. Please note the required information listed on the right hand side of the page and also denoted by the red asterisk against the mandatory field. Before you select this option, please confirm that the system is entirely down for all users. You should select your account and then who it is reported by. You'll need to add your phone number and your time zone. From here, you can set the urgency of this issue. Because the service is down, it defaults to high. If that is not the case, you can change it here. You'll need to add a subject and a description. Please ensure you add any relevant or contextual information that may support the triage and investigation of the issue by IFS. You will need to add your effective environment. You can also add attachments to link to any supportive documentation, log files, or screenshots. Finally, click Submit to send the case to IFS. You're now directed to the case form. You can see the case has been entered with the information we documented previously. Here you have the option to send a message to IFS to the support team, should you wish to do so at this stage. It will be entered into the communication timeline now that the case has been registered. Should you need to close the case at this stage, you can do so by selecting the Close Case option. I have a service security concern. If you have a service security concern, you start with the same workflow. Go to Report an Issue, and then from the nature of your issue, select I have a service security concern. This form also defaults to an urgency of high. Again, if that's not the case, you can change it here. Complete the form with the required fields, select Submit to create a case. A service is degraded or a significant capability is not working. There are two additional options. A significant capability is not working or a service is degraded. From the home page, select Report an Issue. Both of these forms are available in the nature of your issue. You should select A service is degraded when a service is very slow for multiple users and you should use a significant capability is not working when a service is partly offline. The form for each of these is identical. Note the required information on the right hand side of the page and also denoted in the red asterisk against each of the field. You'll select your account and reported by, enter your phone number in your time zone. You'll need to add the urgency of this issue. Complete the subject and the description and your business impact. You'll also select your affected product and you can add your product version here. Select the affected environment and the related capability. Some capabilities also have a related sub capability and you'll need to select there as well. It's helpful to indicate the number of users that are impacted by the issues. Note you can add any supporting documentation, log files, or screenshots via the Add Attachments link. Now we can click Submit to open the case. You're now redirected to the case registration form. We can see all the information that was entered as part of the case here. You have the option to send a message to IFS support or close the case from this page. 
report something else. There's one final option in reporting an issue. The last option you can see here is report something else. You should use this option when you need to report that your system is generally slow, has functional issues, or you have another type of system-related issue to report. It is vital when selecting this option to provide a clear and thorough description of the business impact in order for IFS to assign the correct priority. The same required fields appear, your phone number, your time zone, the nature of your issue, the urgency of the issue, the subject description, and your business impact. You also need to add your affected version, product version, affected environment, and related capabilities. Finally, click the Submit button. You can see all the information that we entered. You can send a message to IFS here or close the case if you need to. Setting the case priority. The case priority is determined by the case type and urgency of the issue. Here you can see a matrix of the combinations available to you. By default, a service is down is a high urgency and will result in a priority one. The same is true of a security concern. You're able to select your level of urgency after selecting your case type or nature of your issue. You can view your cases from several spots on the homepage. There's a widget on the homepage that lists your cases. You can also view the drop down in the header now. For my cases, cases that require your action, and all active cases. You can further filter here. We encourage you to search the knowledge base and IFS community before opening a case, as many answers to common questions can be found there. But if you have an issue or something isn't working as it should, please use the process I've just shown to connect with IFS support.